This is an Eye on Annapolis sports update. John Frenet and Kevin Cheney again from Lincoln Financial Field up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the 119th Army-Navy game. Um, game might be an exaggeration on this one. Navy takes two steps forward and three steps back, it seems. And yet somehow they're still only down seven at the half. <laughs> It should be it should be a lot more. I mean, in the past quarter, Army missed a field goal. So I mean, obviously, it, uh, not obviously, but it should be by all rights ten nothing. Um, Navy just hasn't gotten it together. Well, offensively, that's for sure. Um, defensively, it's almost more than you could ask for. They've been on the field for just about 20 minutes of this game so far on the defensive side of the ball, and yet they are still playing with speed, and they are still getting at the quarterback. They're rushing him. They've knocked him down a bunch of times. They've got a sack. Um, The defense is what's keeping Navy in this. Well, we still have another 30 minutes of football to play. Um, it can be anything, and certainly it's not a score that's uh, it's not a runaway score for Army. So it's uh, you know we're one, one touchdown out of it. If there's one thing we've seen so far this season, it's that Navy has found ways to make adjustments in the second half of games and at least stay in it multiple times. Uh, four times this season, they've either come from behind and taken a lead um, in the second half or overtime and. Although they've lost a few of those games, it doesn't mean that that's necessarily going to be the case today. So if they get out there and they get a lead and then the defense keeps playing the way they are right now, Army, or excuse me, Navy could still walk away with this thing. That's true. It is it is anybody's game, but Navy does have to get their act together. I'll tell you what. Um, before we started this, I planted a bug down in the Navy locker room. Let's go down and hear what, they, what uh, Coach Ken has to say to the team. Okay, unless anybody, <laughs> unless anybody thinks that that was real. No, just a little bit of humor, which is something we probably can all use here. Uh, as we speak, we've got, it looks like the, uh, this is not Navy's. Uh, it's joint. One oh, on each yep. side, it seems to be. Yep, it's the uh, joint marching bands for Army and Navy taking the field. And, um, which will be which will be a treat, actually, because we don't see too much as far as marching bands in the uh, Navy games. No, we sure don't. It's nice to see... Uh, it's one of the best parts about this game is when you get the extracurriculars from both schools together to show the unity of the two, despite the fact that they're playing head to head, to head against each other. Well, it is one of the storied competitions, and in the end, it is one team, and it's just a matter of who sings first and who sings second. And, uh, and you can really see the respect, certainly at the end of the game, no matter what the outcome is, uh, that the two teams have for each other, regardless of the score. Without a doubt. They know what's coming in a few short months when graduation rolls around. They know what their jobs are, and they understand how big the team actually is. That's true. And none of these guys, and I say none of them, but I mean very few of them have any kind of a future in football. I don't think anybody's currently on the field that has a future in uh, in football, no. No, but I mean I mean, just rarely. You, I mean, you can probably count on one hand. The players from Navy that have had, that have had a career in football beyond playing for Navy, and as well as Army. Well, and that's the thing, and that's the reason why the underdog in this game has so much going on. When you have a team like Navy who knows that there is no tomorrow, that for 34 of these guys, this is the last time, arguably, they're ever going to suit up and play properly organized football. You know they're going to come with fire, and you know they're going to come doing everything they can to win the game. Absolutely. Well, we are listening to the joint Army and Navy marching bands, and we are waiting to see if President Trump will switch sides. And typically they do, they'll extend some lines out front to keep people away from him, and uh, and he will switch sides and show his allegiance to both sides of the team. But as it stands right now, Army is in the lead, 7 nothing at halftime at the 119th Army and Navy game here at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Make sure you're following Shellback Sports, and that's at Shellback Sports on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Follow Eye on Annapolis at Eye on Annapolis on Twitter and the All Annapolis Facebook page and the Daily News Brief. That would be kind of a cool thing to subscribe to as well. Uh, We will be back in about another 15 minutes of football time after the end of the third quarter. This has been an update from Eye on Annapolis. Please visit us at ionanapolis.net. Follow us on Twitter at ionanapolis.
And be sure to subscribe to our daily news brief podcast, which is delivered every Monday through Friday to your phone or device at 7 a.m.